So the biggest names in AI just admitted that they're wrong and it's happening faster than anybody expected. So we're watching prediction after prediction crumble in real time. So from MIT pioneers claiming AI would be human level by 1983 to Sam Altman flip-flopping from we know how to build AGI to the bubble is going to burst in less than six months. So did you catch the Dario Amati's um, mark prediction that AI would write all code within 12 months? Well, that aged like milk in Phoenix heat. So why are the same people who hype these technologies now backpedaling faster than they can handle? What went spectacularly wrong with this? Let's dive into some of this today. All right, so these AI predictions didn't just kind of miss the mark by a degree or two. They completely fa fa face planted. And here's the kicker. The exact people that made these bold claims are now quietly walking them back. So let's break down some of the most embarrassing AI predictions that age worse than 1999.com business plan. So now, as always, the best compliment you can give me is to leave a comment down below. It's honestly one of my favorite things and the best compliment that you can give me. So I read every single one of these. Now, uh, in, in the 1970s, Mar Marvin Minsky, who was one of the fathers of AI, said that the, we were eight years to AI, and that and he was quoting that as an AI disaster. Now, MIT's AI godfather confidently declared that human-level intelligence would arrive between 1978 and 1983. And this was very public. You can go back and read it all. And this was just three to eight years away, according to him. Right now, Minsky wasn't some random blogger. This guy literally co-founded MIT's AI lab and helped create the field itself. So this is what really started what we have today. But he genuinely believed that once they figured out the basic principles, jumping to general intelligence would be simple and fast. By the early 1980s, AI was still struggling with basic pattern recognition, while Minsky's timeline had completely collapsed. This overly optimistic pr uh, prediction directly contributes to the first AI winter when funding dried up due to unmet expectations. Now, the lesson here should have been learned then. Even the smartest people in the field can be spectacularly wrong about the time frames. Now, he wasn't wrong about what would happen, but his time frames were totally off. And that's totally something we're seeing against today. Now, Ray Kurzweil's uh, singularity countdown clock, right? In 1999, futurist Ray Kurzweil predicted that by 2009, AI would achieve recursive self-improvement leading to a technology singularity. And that's what we've been hearing about in the last three years a ton, right? Been hearing the same story over again. And a lot of people got after me saying, oh, you're just an AI hater. I'm like, look guys, I'm an AI realist because we've heard this game before. He wasn't just talking about better chatbots. This was supposed to be super intelligent AI that could improve itself exponentially. So Kurzweil had a track record of accurate predictions about technology. So investors and researchers took this timeline seriously. But by 2009, we were still using basic search engines and the iPhone had just launched two years earlier, nowhere near AI singularity. So he's quietly pushed his timeline toward multiple times in later works, but never acknowledged how wrong the original prediction was. So this pattern of moving goalposts when predictions fail is becoming a trademark of AI hype cycles. Now, there was also the 30% job apocalypse that never came, right? So a widely circulated report, a uh, World Economic Forum report in 2023, predicted that AI would displace 30% of the jobs by 2025, right? That's literally right now. So business, media, and social platforms amplify this prediction, creating massive anxieties about AI replacing entire industries. The report specifically targeted data entry, customer service, and creative roles as being fully automated within two years. Now, as we hit late 2025, Job displacement has been far more gradual, with new AI oversight rules actually creating more jobs. Human adaptability and regularity pushback have slowed adoption much more than WEF, WEF uh, anticipated, right? That was the World Economic Forum. So the prediction fundamentally underestimated how complex it is to actually replace human workers in real business environments. Now, uh, let's go to another one here, right? So in 2022, Dolly uh, 2 launched with impressive and everybody was enthusiastic about it, right? And they predicted that AI would dominate creative by 2024. Now, articles in major publications claimed AI generated content would be, quote, indistinguishable from human creators, end quote, within two years. The hype suggested artists, musicians, and writers were about to be completely replaced by AI. Now, while tools like Midjourney have improved dramatically, they still struggle with basic consistency and emotional depth. 
So you want to give a good example? Go look at a lot of the hands that are replaced in them. Hands are one of the things they really, really, really struggle with. And this doesn't even start to go into the copyright disputes and the lack of true creative understanding that have kept humans firmly in control of creative processes. I have a, a friend who's an artist for Disney. He says that his business is actually picked up. So instead of replacement, we're seeing AI as powerful assistance that can still require significant human oversight and direction. Hi, I'm Spencer, a fractional CTO. With over a decade of executive leadership and 25 years in software development, I've transformed technology teams and products for businesses just like yours. As you are fractional CTO, you get the strategic guidance of a seasoned technology executive without the full-time commitment. Perfect for companies ready to leverage cutting edge technology without expanding headcount. My team at Startup Hack has already built advanced AI agents for small and medium businesses, automating complex workflows and delivering advanced ROI to human workflows. We specialize in creating custom software that connects your systems into a single coherent technology ecosystem. Our development approach focuses on tangible business outcomes. For one client, we developed AI-powered workflows that cut days off of human processes. For another company, by connecting multiple systems, we reduce processing time to increase their ROI by over 75%. We don't just write code, we architect solutions that scale. Whether you need cloud system architecture, data integration between legacy systems, or custom AI agents that automate your unique business processes, my team delivers results that exceed your expectations. Having led technology for a lot of companies and launched seven successful brands of my own, I bring battle-tested expertise to your business challenges. Our specialty is turning technological complexity into business advantage. So if you're ready to harness the power of AI and custom software to drive your business forward, let's connect. Together, we'll build technology that doesn't just solve today's problems, it positions you for tomorrow's opportunities. Technology leadership, decades of experience, AI powered. Reach out today and we can help you. Check out startuppack.com slash Spencer.